everyone, I'm Keely and this is Voice of a Creative and today I'm here to show you my August 2019 fabric haul. So I haven't done much sewing in August but I have bought a little bit of fabric and that was mainly because I went to a few sewing meetups and I kind of bought fabric at that time and I also saw a few fabrics that I really really wanted to buy. So the first event I went to was the Sewisfaction pop-up shop in Bath and I don't live far from Bath so I thought I'd head over to have a look and I visited that shop and then I went to Mark Pickle's sewing studio as well so I'll show you the fabrics that I got. So the first fabric that I got at Sewisfaction is this one. Now this is So this is a cotton lawn and it's a really beautiful border print. So really beautiful flowers and then this beautiful kind of teal green colour that matches my nails. <laughs> um, and I saw this and I just thought it was so, so beautiful. And I've been kind of being a little bit drawn to border prints because I'm becoming a bit more interested in making some skirts. So, um, I'm going to make a skirt out of this. Now, I'm not sh I'm not sure what pattern, but I'm kind of tempted to use the Stitch Sisters uh, Simple Skirts class and then just make a skirt with less pleats. Uh, and I can just uh, alter the measurements that they say. So that you draft it yourself out of rectangles and with the waistband and then you just add a certain amount for the pleats so I'll just add less and you can also add side seam pockets as well and I did make one before out of denim but it had more pleats and I haven't really got much wear out of the denim version but I feel like this is really beautiful and then I would just be able to wear it with like a navy blue t-shirt or a striped t-shirt and I think it would just look really really lovely so any of these fabrics that I mentioned, I will link down below if I can find them on the people's websites. The next fabric I got, you will recognize. So this is Atelier, Atelier Brunette fabric. Now I've been looking at this and thinking about this for a little while, but I wasn't quite sure which one to buy. And so I went with this one. So this is a viscose and it's the kind of night colour. So it's a very dark navy blue with these really beautiful splodges on it, which look like paint dabs and things like that. So really beautiful. But I'm not quite sure what to make with it. So if you've got any ideas of maybe like dresses or shirt dresses or something that I could make with it, then please comment them below because I'd love to hear your suggestions. I also got a little goodie bag while I was there, so I'll just show you what was in there. So, postcard, sewing is my superpower. So the pop-up shop was with the makery as well, um, and then it was in Vivi Rouleau, the shop in Bath. So, got one of the cute button biscuits, and then little cute box of pins and there are glass head pins in there <laughs> um a tiny little label that says made with satisfaction which is really cute i didn't see that in there before <laughs> then a little iron-on motif and then a few things from the makery so in here there's a selection of really cute buttons and this stuff which I don't know what it's called uh, as well as this which I'm really interested to use so this is a purse clasp um, as well and some there's just yeah so, so there's like some cute kind of kids buttons as well and little stars which would be really cute I might end up using these on like cards and stuff rather than in makes but perfect for that kind of thing so after I went to Satisfaction, I headed over to Mark Pickle's sewing studio in Bath. Um, really lovely selection of fabrics. There's a lot of kind of quilting cottons, but there are a selection of other fabrics as well. And they do get a few different ones in. And usually there is kind of a discount. So I think I got a 20% discount on this uh, because it was just a discount weekend. So the first one I got was this. 
So this is a cotton jersey, really beautiful green colour. Again, matches my nails. I think there's a theme emerging. And it's got these, it's kind of like an animal print with these little black bits. But I kind of just thought of it as kind of a circular pattern. And I'm going to make, a, I bought a metre of this. I'm going to make a top out of it because I thought that'd just be really cute. So that's that one really lovely and bright. I think that'll go perfectly with jeans. I might even be able to match it with that skirt. Maybe that'll be too much green. <laughs> Then I got this denim. So there's quite a good selection of denims there. So this is a rigid denim um, and I really just really loved the colour of this one. And it's not too thick, but I'm going to make a clear pinafore out of it. Um, I'm not sure whether I'm going to make with a button down placket because I've seen something in Fat Face which had a button down placket and it looked really cute. So I'm kind of thinking that and I know Sam, Purple Sewing Cloud, did make a hack of maybe the clear or something else with a button down placket and it looks amazing. So that's what I think I might do with that. But yeah, so I bought just over a meter of that to make a clear with. And then I bought this cotton. Now I wouldn't um, normally buy cottons too much, but this is to make cushions for my bedroom. So I'm in my bedroom now. So um, we painted the walls this kind of violety, lavendery, grey colour <laughs> and the other colours in the room are the blue my wardrobe and things are this blue and then we've got grey curtains and a navy with accessories so I thought that this was a really beautiful fabric that would go really well so I'm going to just make some cushions for my bed in that one. My next my next one is an order from First for Fabrics now, Tamlin um, visits First for Fabrics quite often. It's her local fabric shop and she often talks to me about that. And they recently got some really beautiful fabric in with Cats, the Lady McRoy one. And so I saw that on their Instagram and I instantly wanted to buy it. And I just bought a few other things at the same time. So the fabric that I wanted to buy was this one. So you may have seen this already. So this is lots of cats um now this is a viscose jersey and if you know this type of fabric uh so viscose jersey is normally um just really drapey for jerseys my favorite kind of fabric but this is kind of a crepe version because it has a subtle kind of texture to it i don't know if you can see uh so it does make it slightly more sheer than normal viscose jersey would be now I'm a bit upset about this because I washed it, pre-washed it, and I feel like the cats have gone slightly blue-grey. And I'm not sure if that was this fabric or the other fabrics I put it in with, but I'm a bit upset about that because the cats are supposed to be white. Um, but there's nothing I can really do about it now. Um, but yeah, so I'm a bit upset about that but I will link this fabric if you want to go and get some for yourself. But yeah, I bought enough to make, I think I'm gonna make a Mayfair dress out of this. I know Tamlin got some as well, so we'll be twinning in whatever we make. <laughs> then I got this one. So this is a really beautiful leaf print. It's a cotton jersey, navy background um, with their navy leaves. And I thought this would be perfect to make a dress for school. I'm trying to think of some new dresses to make for school just because I'm kind of really bored of the old ones. And I have loads and loads of dresses, but once you've worn them kind of 30 times during the year or over two years, you get a little bit bored of them. So they are still there, but I'm gonna make some new ones for the new school year. So I'm gonna use that. So that's really cute as well. Again, beautiful blues. And then I bought this one. Now this, again, is a cotton jersey. So it's got these really cute little pebbles. These look like pebbles to me, like patches and pebbles. Um, and so it's got pinks and blues. But I thought this would be really cute to wear with skirts and things, and then just t-shirts on the weekend. So I'm gonna make a top out of this. Um, I have made quite a few Freya tees, but I need to alter the pattern slightly, slightly because of the arm thing. Um, or I might make a plantain tee, but I'm not so sure quite yet. But yeah, really love that. I think it looks really cute. And because uh, the offer that they were doing was a mystery meter, so you've got a mystery meter along with your fabrics. I also got a reel of thread and some jersey needles because I spent a certain amount. 
and you get the reel of thread with any order but then the jersey needles come extra i think and then i got this so this is a navy i think it's a scuba crepe it said um so it's quite stretchy lovely fabric a good weight to it i'm not sure it's a meter so i'm not sure what i'm going to do with it now i have before made a york pinafore out of a uh, scuba crepe type fabric like this and it worked really well i just uh, did armbands instead of bias binding so i'm quite tempted to do that again because that would be really cute to wear in the winter out of this heavier fabric so I'm not sure if you've got any ideas of what I could make out of this. Again, comment them below. So I'm not quite sure as yet what to make. And um, my last little fabric is from Like So Amazing. So I went to the Like So Amazing summer party. Unfortunately, due to moving house and all of those things, I got there a little later. So I ended up getting there after the raffle, which was a bit of a shame. Um, but I did get to go out for dinner with some lovely people, um, with Sarah as well. So that was really lovely. But I did buy some fabrics. Now these aren't my normal fabrics I would buy, but I am trying to expand um, kind of what I'm buying and what I kind of make because I want to start to make a few more things with woven fabrics. So I recently got the Ashton top by Helen's Closet. So it's just, uh, I will insert a, a line drawing. It's just a A-line top with darts for woven fabric. So it's quite simple, kind of like Alton Cami, but with a dart um, and slightly thicker strap. So I thought that'd be perfect for me. So I've bought it and I'm gonna do a test version first. I've got that cut out, but then I wanted to buy some fabrics that I thought would be really good for it. Now, Sarah had this made, this one made up as an Ogden cami, and I just feel for, for me the Ogden cami has too thin straps, so I probably wouldn't wear it. Um, I have a real thing about covering my bra straps. So, I got this one, because it looks really beautiful and bright, and I'm going to make an Ashton top out of that one. So I just bought a metre, hopefully that will be enough. Um, but yeah, really love the bright colours on that one. Again... Oh, not quite this time. They don't quite match this time. I also bought this one. So this is a cotton. So that one was a viscose, I think, or a peach skin. I think viscose. Um, this is a cotton lawn. So the Ashton top can be made from quite a few different fabrics. So I wanted to just try a few. Uh, so I'm just trying to find which way up it is. This way, I think. So this is really beautiful. I kept eyeing this. So it's got flamingos on it, but also these beautiful flowers and then tones of blue. I just thought it was really, really cute. Um, and yeah, an Ashton top, I think, or I might make a shirt out of this. If I make a shirt, I could wear it to work then with skirts. Um, I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, really love this one as well. Then I did buy some more of this. Um, because what I realised is I really love this fabric and I wanted to make a dress and a top out of it. So I bought a metre uh, that I could make a top out of. So really cute little tumbling cats. Um, just really like how abstract this is, but it's still cats. So that's really cute and it's a really lovely blue colour. It's like a petrol blue. And the last one I bought is this one. Now, this is a bit creased because it's come out of the wash. So I will have to iron this before um, I use it. But this is the softest fabric ever. Um, if you go into the shop and you got to feel this fabric, it is just so, so soft. Like, I can't even explain. It's so silky and soft. And this is the lighter version. So a little bit ago, Sarah had a darker version, which I did buy, and I've just cut into a Donovan skirt. Um, but this is slightly lighter uh, color. So this is a tensile fabric and I will link the fabric down below um, but it has really lovely drape and I am going to use this to make a dress. Now I recently did the bodice fitting course and I am going to make from By Hand London, it's going to be the holly jumpsuit top with the front placket and then I'm just going to do a self drafted skirt that's going to be slightly gathered just at the front and at the back and then I'll do a zip down the back. Um, and we fitted that bodice during the class, so I can use the fitting that we did on that, add the front placket, and then add the skirt on, because I really like the idea of having a really floaty kind of denim dress. 
So that's what I'm going to do with that one, but I'm not quite sure when I'm going to manage that because I want to spend the time to kind of get it right um, and maybe do French seams or just really finish the seams beautifully. But yeah, that's that one. And the last thing I got at Like So Amazing was this. So this is a beeswax wrap kit. Now I've been becoming a bit more interested in this kind of thing more recently. I want to think more about recycling and actually what I can do to help the environment because if all of us do a little bit, that's got to help, hasn't it? So Sarah had these uh, made up and I know that she's just launched them on her website as well. So you can head over and buy one of these with or without fabric if you like. So I got the kit with this fabric. So I just think this is hilarious. Uh, it's a beeswax wrap kit and it has bees. So that is all the fabric I bought in August. I'm hoping that I'm gonna get some sewing done in September um, and leading up till Christmas. Uh, hopefully I will have a bit of a chance now we've got more of the house finished. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please press the thumbs up and subscribe if you want to hear more from me. Goodbye.